welcome back to Mad Dog Air Guns. Christmas has been kind. <laughs> We've got a few little things for Christmas along the shooting variety. So I'm going to do some videos on them, but the first video I'm going to do is on this one, which uh, is rather special. Uh, this is the Crosman Remington 1875. It's spot on. Uh, it weighs 1.2 kilograms. Apparently it's 3.2 joules, which will shoot up to 450 feet per second. We're gonna check it through the chronograph in a minute. Comes with uh, 12 shells, six are for BBs and six are for pellets. So basically this gun is a dual fuel. Um, it will shoot pellets or BBs. Um, what else can I say? The weight of this thing is unbelievable. 1.2 kilograms, eight inch barrel, um, half cock. You can uh, turn that. To get the shells out, you open that up, tip it up. <laughs> I'll try and do this on camera. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six, six of these shells now. Those ones are for the pellets. The other six in my pocket for BBs. I've ordered some more of the pellet ones. Um, and then to load it up, it's just the same as getting them out. You just line up your, uh, your chamber pop it in, turn it round, pop it in, turn it round, I don't know if you're catching this on camera, pop it in, All six, close that, give it a full cock, and that's it. Single action, um, safety is underneath, uh, and that's pretty much about it. Once you've got your gas in there, your CO2, I keep calling it gas, you can then pull the trigger, that'll fire, shoot it, and every time you cock it, it turns it round. So, what you can also do on this, if you have problems with pellets getting stuck, is take take each one out. That's those all out. And now you can take the cylinder out. So what you do is a little button just there, push that in and pull the, there's a rod, pull that all the way out and you've got your cylinder. So to put it back in, just get it back in there, line it up <laughs> like so. back in there, press the uh, button there, that rod goes back in and that's all the way back in now. So that's that. CO2 goes in the handle so you just pop the handle off, the handle's got a little allen key in there and you put your CO2 in there Put your handle back on, which clips back on, real nice fit. This is imitation ivory, it's plastic, um, but the, the actual gun and the feel of the gun um, is really good. There's no sharp edges on it, uh, and it's pretty good, you know. 
Now I've always sort of steered clear of the uh, the CO2 where you take the um, or the sort of gun replicas where you have to take the pistol grip off to get the CO2 in. I've never sort of liked the look of them when I've been watching videos and that. Um, the Hobbit got me this for Christmas and it's actually really quite good. It's it's a positive feel. You just There's like a little finger dimple in there. Just get that in there, pop it up. There's a nice metal clip. Nice metal clip in there. Uh, there's a, a little lip on there, so get your CO2 in it. Put the uh, lip in there, clip it back down. Perfect. So, <laughs> I'm chuffed to bits with it. It's just a fantastic bit of kit. We're gonna shoot it. I've already had a go at shooting it, and um, it feels pretty good. It looks quite accurate. I've got a little target set up outside. We're gonna put it through the chronograph. We're gonna try, um, I'll do six pellets and six BBs and see if there's much difference in the power with the ammunition. Uh, and then I'll load it up with uh, pellets and we'll do some target shooting outside and see, see if I can hit a barn door. So yeah, I'll get some CO2 in it. We'll get it loaded up and I'll see you over by the chronograph. So this is all loaded up now. We've got six shells in it with BBs. Now the, the bump that comes with it, says 450 feet per second up to 137 meters per second. Now, I've looked online, this should be 3.2 joules or thereabouts. Uh, so with the BBs, these BBs are 0.35 of a gram. I've put the weight in the chronograph, so that should tell me what the joules and the meters per second are. We're in a metric country. I do everything in joules and meters per second. Um, and you can convert it to feet per second if you feel fit. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Um, we'll fire the BBs through it first, then I'll load up with pellets, I'll change the weight, and then we'll see what happens there. And then we'll try and see if I can hit a target. So 0.35 of a gram. Pellets are A little bit lower with the pellets. See what we can eat outside. Not sure how this is gonna go, but uh, we're gonna try with the BBs first. <clears throat> I'll go for the left hand target. I'm not sure how it fires. Right, we're on the pellets now. I'll go for the right hand target and see what I can hit.
be nice when I can get out on the range. It is bitterly cold out today, so I'm shooting out the window. The target's probably, oh, I don't know, 20, 30, 30 foot? It's a good eight meters out there. It is accurate for one of these. It's a smooth barrel, smooth bore barrel. It's not rifled. Um, so for for what it is, it's quite accurate. It does shoot quite straight. Now, I've noticed on a lot of YouTube videos, people are even using pistols on a rest. So they're resting it on something to get good aim. I'm just sat there waving it about. I'm, my aim isn't brilliant because well, just because I don't really shoot that much, I'm getting. I'm just waiting for the weather to get nicer, and I'll get outside with all my and uh, do quite a bit of target practice this coming year. Um, but for just shooting out the window, but eight meters, eight, yeah, eight meters maximum. Um, it's quite accurate. You can see as they're firing out, you can see they're all going in a quite a straight line. It's just working out. On the sights where it's where it's hitting the target basically uh, it doesn't help with the targets being black in the middle <laughs> but uh, I'll zoom in when I get it on the computer I'll zoom in and we'll have a good look and uh, see what I did actually hit now I only did six with the BBs uh, the rest have all been the pellets so yeah pretty damn good I'm well chuffed with it it's another one for the collection uh, and as I say, it's just fantastic. You know, just roll it round, get the shells out. Half cock it, of course. If you get one in there that's stuck, you open the door and you can push this, there's a, a lever here which pushes all the way through the cylinder. And if you can see that, it's focusing on my face. That's the trouble. You see that pushing through there? So if you do get one stuck, you can push it out of that. You can take the cylinder out like I showed you. And uh, it's just fan bloody tastic, isn't it? Uh, and the feel of it. Now these are not accurate target shooting guns. These are for backyard fun, a bit of plinking. Bit of target shooting uh, for me out the window. I've got the radiator here, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is a fantastic bit of kit. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I can't be doing with a keep loading it, but that's all part of the feel of it. It's authentic. Uh, I have ordered some more of, as I, I might have said before, some more of these shells for the, the, uh, the pellets. So I can have 18 loaded up shoot six, change them, shoot six, change them, and then fill all 18 back up with pellets and go again. It will just keep things going. There's still a hell of a lot of CO2 in there. I will I will drain, take it to empty it before I uh, put the gun away. But um, I don't know how many shots you'll get out of it. I'm not gonna be sat out here all afternoon testing how much CO2, you know, how many pellets you'll get per CO2. Uh, the chronograph did show that the, the BBs put out more power than the pellets, but it's still quite new. And the first time I shot it, a couple of pellets wouldn't actually fire out of the shells. Um, whether it's because they were just on the back of the shell. You can see that. In the back of that shell, you've got like a bit of rubber that the pellet pushes into whether it's because that was still quite new and maybe a little bit hard the pellet wasn't wasn't firing out so there was two and one fired out eventually and the other one i had to just poke out with a thing i put it back in and it fired uh so yeah fantastic bit of kit thanks to the hobbit for uh, yet another wicked christmas present i've also got a new air rifle and a little flare gun, which I'll be putting a video out on that because that thing is incredible. I've never seen anything like it, but uh, yeah. So there'll be some videos coming up with the air rifle and the flare gun and other stuff. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you this. It's absolutely brilliant. Great bit of kit. If you like that authentic feel, old school, single action, um, it's just fantastic. 
So hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, do come back for more of these sort of videos. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.